What's up guys, Austin Numi here with MotionArray.com. Today we're gonna be talking about getting the 1980s vintage look right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro without any special overlays or plugins. This is actually a very simple effect and I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So I've got my clip right here on the timeline. We're ready to start making this footage look old. The first thing I wanna do is highlight this footage and I wanna go over here to my effects panel and I'm going to look for color emboss. This is a plugin that's already inside Adobe Premiere CC 2017. We're gonna drag this over onto our clip, go to effect controls, and I'm gonna take my contrast to 250. Now, as you can see, this adds a hardened edge to everything inside this clip. Now what we're gonna do is go back over to our effects panel and type in RGB. You're gonna wanna grab color balance RGB and drag that onto your clip. And then under opacity, where it says normal, go down here to linear dodge add. We're gonna want to separate the red, green, and blue channels, and then we want the blending mode to be add so that it adds all those colors together. Now let's go down here to the color balance effect, and we're gonna take the green channel down to zero, and we're gonna take the blue channel down to zero. And then while we have this clip selected, we're gonna hold down Alt and drag up to duplicate this layer, and let's hold down Alt and drag up one more time so we could duplicate it again. Now at this middle channel, what we're gonna to wanna to do is go down here to color balance. We're gonna take the red all the way down, and we're gonna type in a value of 100 for green. Now it will go ahead and auto adjust to 39, which is a maximum value, so don't worry, you can leave it just as is. We're gonna go down here to the bottom layer and do the same thing. We're gonna take red down and we're gonna bring blue to 100. Now what we're gonna do is go back up to our red channel, which is this top one here, and we're going to bring the scale up to 101. Then what we wanna do is we wanna take the position and move it to the left just slightly. So we're gonna take this to a value of 954. And that's gonna offset our red channel there so we'll start to see it around some areas. Now we're also gonna do the same thing with the blue except we're gonna change the value slightly. We're gonna take the scale to 102 and we're gonna take the first position value to 966. Now that we've roughed this footage up just a little bit, we're gonna go over here to our project panel where we keep all of our assets, and we're gonna right click in here, new item, adjustment layer. And these are my settings, 1920 by 1080, 24 frames a second, so we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And we're gonna take this adjustment layer and drag it on top of all of our layers. Go ahead and extend that out, and then what we're gonna to wanna to do with this adjustment layer is we wanna go back to our effects panel and search noise. We're gonna drag this noise right here onto the adjustment layer, go back to our effect controls, and the amount of noise, we're gonna take this percentage to about 20%. Now we also wanna add those glitchy waves that you get that run through some of your footage when it was tracking on a VCR. So we're gonna go back over to our effects panel and we're gonna type in wave warp. Drag wave warp onto the adjustment layer clip. Let's scroll down and now we're gonna change some of these settings. We're gonna change the wave type to square and this is gonna give everything a bit of more jagged edge to it. Now we're gonna take our wave width to 1000. We wanna do that because it's gonna spread these jagged edges out a little bit further so it will look more natural in the glitching process. So usually with these old effects that you had on your VCR, the waves actually went down from top to bottom instead of left to right or right to left. So we're gonna change the direction to zero and that's gonna change that direction up. So as you can see, it's now horizontal. And then we're gonna to go to our wave speed and we're gonna type in a value of negative 0.1. Now what that's gonna do is that's actually gonna tell this wave that it needs to come from the top and go down. Then we're gonna to go to pinning and we're gonna to go to all edges. And you're gonna notice those black bars on the side here are gonna disappear. So that's looking pretty good, but there's one more thing that I wanna to do to sell this effect. I'm gonna to go to my Lumetri color panel while my adjustment layer is selected. And I'm gonna to go to curves and I'm gonna set some points in the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. So I'm gonna take this left side, which is your shadows, and I'm gonna lift those shadows considerably. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna flatten out the image as you saw right here. We also wanna do the same thing to the highlights, which is up on this side. Just bring it down right about here. That's gonna finish off this tutorial on how to get the 80s look. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to head on over to motionarray.com for more tutorials. Until next time, we'll see you later. Thank you.